All right, so as you can see, something happened. <laughs> I don't know who, I don't know what, but somebody got me. Um, I had to shove a bag in there because it was raining pretty hard. I lost my reverse light because of all the water that got in there. So I'm just gonna be replacing this housing right here and it's pretty simple to do. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so the first thing, pop your hood, pop your hatch, whatever. And you're gonna be taking off all this paneling. As you can see, it's leaking because of all the water that got in there. <laughs> but yeah, all you'll need is a 10 millimeter socket, a trim removal tool or a flathead screwdriver and the new housing. When you get your housing, just make sure it's the right one. As you can see, it's the right one. All right, so the first piece, you gotta remove this piece and then these two pieces and then this piece. So what you do is just grab a corner. It's in here about four push pins. One of the push pins came out, it's right there. All you gotta do is pop that out and put it back in there. Pop off the side. Just like that, it's only in there with two retaining clips. Pop off this side. All right, so this is where you'll need your trim removal tool or your flat head screwdriver. Find a corner. I usually go with the inside corner. You use your pry tool or your flat head and just pry out this panel right here. It's only in there with tension. Then you'll need your 10 millimeter and you'll have two bolts right here and right here. Same thing with that side. Now with this main piece, it's the same as these pieces right here. They're just in with push clips and retaining clips. Just grab a corner, pry down on it so you can get your finger in there and just slowly work your way around. As you can see all the push clips, as you can see all the water. <laughs> I'm gonna set this aside. All right, so in order to get this light off, you have to get this trim piece right here off. And how you do that? All right, to take off the housing for the light, it's three bolts. So one here, one here, and one here. But since that panel's covering half of this light housing, You'll have to take off a bolt right there, a second bolt right there, a third bolt right there, and a fourth bolt in that hole right there. Take off those four bolts, then take off these three bolts, and then you can take off the housing. It's better to do this upside down because you, if your hatch is closed and you're sitting inside, the bolts may fall down here. So, Right now lower your hatch you should be able to just pull this panel right off just give it a little pressure because it is in there pretty tight and as you can see it overhangs the housing that's why you have to take it off because there's a bunch hidden behind this panel and you should be able to just pull the light out. And then just disconnect your wire. All right, so the next thing you gotta do is prep your new bulb housing. Take off these little tapes 
you'll have to transfer this wire and this assembly right here into the new one. I got this star driver set from Walmart. I think it was like eight bucks or something. You need the one with the hole in the center like that. And then just take off this one bolt right here. And then you can transfer all this to that new bolt. How Press on this clip. It'll slide right out. You pull your wires out. And then give it a 90 degree turn. And pull it straight out. Drop it in the new one the same way. Put your new clip on. Just line it up with them two tabs right there and push down. And then set that into that groove right there. Uh, the bulb's fried because it got water in there. I'm hoping it's not completely fried. But I'm going to replace this bulb with some LEDs. One sec. Here's the bulbs I'm going to be replacing. These incandescent bulbs with these are 921s i think they were like 20 bucks for both of them it just makes it a lot easier to back up at night that way you can see because these are the reverse bulbs And then just do everything in the reverse order, putting it back together. And because I already had this off, I'm just gonna go ahead and swap out this bulb on this side. All you gotta do is just pull it out, push it in. And then just plug in your wiring to the new bulb housing. Then test it out, make sure it works. The way you put this back on is exactly the way you took it off. Try and find the, these first two push pins, which is probably right here and right here. Line those up, stab those in, and then go around just like that. Then grab the first side piece, go around this lip, swing it around this plastic trim. Same with this side. And then this one. And to put that back on, just pops right in. Then don't forget your handles. Then the covers. I can orient it right. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this one. Go ahead and throw away your housing or dispose of it properly and then clean up your area and then you're done. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and becoming part of our squad. Squad, 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 squad. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Ha!